Hey guys, I was expecting you. Come on into my crib. Welcome. Scottie Pippen's 12th season run with the Chicago Bulls in the 80s and 90s, during which time the team got six NBA championships, may be long behind him, but this past summer, fans got to relive his glory days with the documentary The Last Dance. The basketball star also recently opened the doors to his gorgeous Chicago mansion for Architectural Digest and showed off the home he continues to maintain in the Windy City. While Scotty reportedly spends much of his time in Los Angeles, he still owns his Chicago house and a place in Florida. We'll be taking a look at where Scotty calls home. We even found some of the listings. Scotty Maurice Pippen is a former basketball player who played 17 seasons with the NBA, winning six championships with the Chicago Bulls. Scotty, along with Michael Jordan, played a pivotal role in transforming the Bulls into a championship team and popularizing the NBA around the world in the 90s. Considered one of the greatest small forwards of all time, Scotty was named to the NBA All Defensive First Team eight consecutive times and the All NBA First Team three times. He's a seven time NBA All Star and the only player in the league to have won an NBA title and Olympic gold medal in the same year, not once, but twice, both in 92 and 96. I could go on and on about Scotty's titles and accomplishments, but I think you get the idea. Scotty's personal life has also been the subject of tabloids, whether it was his on and off again relationship with ex-wife Larsa, or the fact that he's had seven children with four different women over the years. Regardless, these days it seems that Mr. Pippen is single and was spending quarantine with his kids in one of his mansions. In 2012, Bleacher Report named Scotty as one of the most financially irresponsible players in the history of the NBA, claiming he blew away 120 million with poor financial decisions. However, his current estimated net worth is still said to be anywhere between 30 to 50 million dollars, so all things considered, that ain't bad at all. Hey guys and girls, it's Kara, and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We'll be taking a look at where former NBA legend Scottie Pippen calls home, like his estate in Chicago, his Florida property, and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Big Sean and Lamar Jackson, and we'll We'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. South Florida is well suited to the luxury lifestyles of the rich and famous, and that includes Mr. Scotty Pippen. It seems that the waterfront properties and palm trees weren't enough to keep him though, considering he's been trying to sell his mega mansion here for about a decade. Located in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Scotty and ex-wife Larsa Pippen used to call this impressive estate home. The six-time NBA champ initially listed his incredible tropical paradise in 2010 for $16 million, although it was privately offered as far back as January 2000. And nine. Since then, it's been bouncing on and off the market, at one point even offered as a luxury rental for 40 k per month. Don't get it twisted though, the Venetian style mansion is gorgeous. It's located in Harbor Beach, one of Fort Lauderdale's most exclusive neighborhoods, and comes with views of a sparkling canal that leads to the ocean. Property records show that Scotty paid $1.34 million for this double wide parcel of land back in October 2000, and proceeded to have a Mediterranean revival style mansion custom designed here. The home was conceived and built by award-winning architect Randall Stoff and spans over 9,700 square feet of space inside with six beds and 7.5 baths. There's also every luxury amenity you could dream of, and I'd imagine some extra tall doorways to accommodate Mr. Pippin's 6 foot 8 inch frame. The mega mansion has a double height entryway with winding staircase and skylights, and nearby there's a formal living room with floor to ceiling windows and a huge marble fireplace. Other common spaces include a gourmet eating kitchen with sprawling island and updated appliances, a great room with vaulted ceilings and sliding doors to the outside, as well as an attached dining room with classy chandelier. The main floor also offers a second dining room fitted with a glass table. Most of the bedrooms are upstairs, including Scotty's master suite he no doubt shared with ex-wife Larsa, which has a sitting area with rotunda ceiling and a huge bed. There's also a private balcony and marble ensuite bath. Elsewhere, the Florida mansion offers an elevator, games room, large gym, and home movie theater. 
Outside on the property, there's 215 feet of canal frontage with a private dock, as well as a lagoon style pool and spa with water slide. There are numerous covered terraces and patio spaces, a built in barbecue center, a putting green, and even a massive tennis court. So I wasn't kidding when I said the place had a ton of luxury amenities. Despite having all this to offer, Scotty still wants to sell the mega home, but still with no luck. If you're interested, it seems to be on the market. Hey guys, I was expecting you. Come on into my crib. Now for the house that you may be a little more familiar with. Earlier this month, Scotty opened up his massive doors for Architectural Digest to show off his mansion in Chicago. Located in Highland Park, Illinois, a suburban city on the north shore of Chicago, Scotty bought this property back in 2004. He claims to spend a lot of his time these days in LA, but this has always been his part-time residence. According to his Instagram, we can see Scotty and his kids have also been spending a lot of quarantine at a more tropical looking residence. I'm guessing in Florida or California because of all the palm trees, but I don't have all the deets. I mean, the Chicago mansion does have an impressive pool, so there's a chance it could be this house too. Anyways, a private gated entry opens up to Scotty's 3.3 acre park-like oasis. The interior of the home spans over 13,000 square feet with a bright, spacious, and modern design, as well as seven beds and 9.5 baths. There's a two-story foyer and a dramatic family room nearby, opening up to a modern chef's kitchen with two sub-zero fridges, double oven, island, and large eating area. You may not expect it after all the amenities I'm about to show you, but Scotty calls the kitchen with its white traditional cabinetry the coolest place in the house. He also adds, I like hanging out in here. I like cooking. I like sitting here in the morning. You're able to watch the sunrise. I mean, that is one nice kitchen. The entire mansion seems to have a comfortable open floor plan, making it ideal for someone with a big family like Scotty. The home has staircases with sleek glass railings and windows all over. According to listing materials, the home was perfectly expanded with a separate wing featuring two bedrooms as well a loft. Scotty's master suite though is the epitome of luxury. The grand bedroom has not one but two separate baths, a sitting area, private movie theater setup, as well as a dream closet. Also upstairs, there's a huge array of Scotty's awards on display, including replicas of his NBA championship trophies, his 1994 All-Star MVP trophy, and multiple ESPY awards. These are all in what he calls the family trophy case, along with some of his kids' prizes. My key has got a few things in there as well, so... It's kind of turned out to be a little family trophy case. Of course, cold Chicago winters mean indoor activities are a must. I would know since I live in Toronto, but unlike Pippin's mansion, my place doesn't feature an amenity full basement like his. The lower level of Scotty's home is jam packed with a wine cellar, a home movie theater where he can watch his fave movie Die Hard, a small gym area, a sauna, an air hockey table, and even a vintage Mrs. Pac Man arcade game. Just when you thought I was done, he has a massive indoor basketball court. I mean, would you expect anything less? from an NBA All-Star. Emblazoned on the floor is an image of Scotty's red number 33 Bulls jersey, and the room is a favorite of his kids. I can see why. He said, basketball has been my life. My kids sort of follow my dream of wanting to be professional basketball player one day, so this was an addition that was added to the house. They're always in here hooping and playing at one, two in the morning, so I felt like this was a great investment. Moving outside, the backyard offers lush grassy lawns and perfect landscaping. There's a pool with a water slide, his grill, and an outdoor TV that ensures Scotty never misses a basketball game. Elsewhere, you'll find the putting green where he practices chipping because he plays with some pretty good golfers, including his former teammate and friend Michael Jordan, who he apparently hasn't beat yet. Well, that about wraps it up for Scotty Pippen and where he calls home, but I mean, those are some massive mansions to cover. We saw his Chicago mega estate he currently calls home, as well as the tropical getaway in Florida he's been trying to sell for about a decade. I'd like you guys to pick your favorite houses or read Scotty's two mansions we just looked at and sound off in the comments. If it were up to me, I think I'd pick the Chicago place first, but I wouldn't complain with that one in Florida either. That one comes with the sunny weather. I also recently did a house tour of my place on my personal channel, and while it isn't as impressive as Mr. Pippin's mansion, it does have ceilings high enough for him to fit inside. If you wanna check out my latest video, please like and subscribe to my personal channel, and we'll link you to my house tour. This is it, we're all moved in. Clearly it looks like I'm already living here. And this apartment didn't actually come with an island, the old kitchen did. So I had to order one, but I'm absolutely in love with this one. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and let me know whose house tour is up next. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.